Good evening, everybody. It's been a while since I did a video, and um, I just wanted to basically just touch on the markets. I haven't done a video in a long time, but I wanted to, you know, just clarify some things since for the past um, week or or more, we've been having a little problem with, um, you know, this trade deal thing, and I just wanted to say that... Um, First of all, I hope that each and every one of your families out there doing well and that you're able to provide for them in this time because it's not an easy thing out here. I know that they're saying that the economy is so good, but really and truly when you look at it, <laughs> it's not so good. So I wanted to talk about, you know, the markets and what is actually going on. And as you could see here in this article, it says Asian market sets to trade cautiously after the U.S.-China partial deal optimism fails. Now, it says Asia-Pacific markets look set to trade cautiously on Tuesday following pr the previous day's rally as new doubts emerge of an out about the U.S.-China partial deal. Now, I want to say that this trade deal really don't have much to do with the actual economy. The actual economy is actually tanking, but they're using this as basically kind of like a decoy to keep you away from what's actually happening out there in the market, in the in actual economy, sorry. So they're using the stock market, which is the last thing to fall, to try to keep us all entertained about the market, about what's going on in the real economy, sorry. And um, I want to say this because the Fed is actually pumping money in the economy right now. They say that they're doing a not so QE, which is actually quantitative even easing to the tune of sixty billion. Now the thing about it is is you know, the Fed chairman say to you don't dare call it QE. Now for what it is is actually QE. It's actually money printing. So I guess we're gonna call it QP. That's quantitative printing. Or we're going to just print quantitatively. Now, the thing that I see that is a problem with this is they came out with this QP or QE or this not so QE. They came out with it really and truly very early because they, the markets have not shown any signs of them falling or tanking yet. But yet still, the Fed is already printing. And then, you know, the overnight repo rate it went to 10% or 10 plus percent. And then they had to print money to go ahead and save that to the tune of $110 billion. Now, the difference between what they're doing now and in 2008 is those billions that were printed was a monthly thing. Now they're doing these billions of dollars on a daily thing to keep the markets from actually rolling over. Now, President Trump came out and he spoke about this deal with China and how everything is fine yet still you have a headline right here it said trump house trade negotiations with turkey raises the steel tariffs to 50 percent but all these trade deals that they're doing whether with china with turkey with europe all of these things you'll hear how good they're going and then after a while you'll hear that tariffs have been raised now it says china wants another round of talk before signing what u.s president donald trump last week called a very substantial phase one deal between the two countries now the truth is is there's no deal there was never any deal there's no deal all of this is just rhetoric to keep everything keep you and me dumbfounded about what's really taking place if you look at the markets let's look at the Dow for for example and this is a two-year chart two-year weekly chart see it's right there of the Dow and I have the RSI a MACD and a slow stochastic on the bottom here. Now, look at this candle right here and a weekly candle on the Dow. Look at this candle right here, it's a doji. Look at this upside down shooting star. All of these are signs that the market has already topped. We actually have a nice double top right here. Nice double top. With all the news and with all the pumping of the markets, pumping of money into the market, the markets have not actually did anything. They haven't gone positive or anything like that. There's a nice double top right here before this tank. We had a double top again. 
and this, this candle is weekly candle is showing you that it's a negative candle if you look down here at the MACD you can see the market was geared to go lower but what happened news came out Fed president came out even a slow stochastic is showing you that the market actually wants to go lower but yet still you have this rhetoric that everything is fine and that the markets are supposed to go higher well actually with all the money that's printed the market actually are supposed to go higher but what is happening is you see that this mental this amount of morphine that they're pumping into the market is actually not helping the patient anymore so they're using job owning what they call critic uh, credible threats to actually try to get the market to go up these markets are actually set to go lower and the fact that they had that false flag with Iran and oil the other day and oil actually went up just a dollar and change it means that a lot of the things that they've been doing before to get the markets to go up they are not working the economy is actually at the rotten phase and I won't be surprised if a flash crash happen anytime soon I'm using actually stock charts right now you can see right here with all of this stuff that he talked about the markets were heading lower we were already below the 200 day moving average but what happened they came out they spoke about you know they, the Fed came in and saved the markets with pumping money into the repo market and look what happened the MACD actually started to go back but look at these candles right here they telling you that the market it actually wants to go lower all of this that what that was done look at the RSI all of this was showing you that the markets want to go lower look at all of this right here matter of fact let me go ahead and put inspection all right look at all of this right here the market has been coming down and bouncing at a level trying to break lower but they came out with what information to try to get it to break higher this trend that was going down it was not fully completed if you look right here you'll see that it normally comes down to about this level or even lower before it breaks and turn around and go up but they stopped it right here why did they stop it because guess what if we go out on a further chart and look at this thing from a from a let's just do a three year and we're going to do weekly because daily is not going to pick it up properly we're going to see that guess what this market has a topping formation it's topping it has reached the peak and it wants to break lower look right here this is the same thing we saw in the the, the um the big charts where the market wants to break lower but what's stopping it see this is slow to stochastic what's stopping it is the money that's being pumped up inside of the market look at this candle here again this is the same candle on the weekly chart it's the same candle that shows you that the markets want to break lower and what are they doing they're pumping money into the markets to keep things afloat the problem is is there are really no buyers and when there's no buyers the market has to go lower but what did they do if you look below right here which is about 25,000 if we break that which is the 100 day moving average there's a long drop down to the 200 and this is on the long term chart to 22,484 that's what the market wants to do we have this topping pattern right here showing you that it's ready to roll over but yet still you have people out there parroting oh the markets are going higher the markets are going higher on a long term chart the markets don't want to go higher they actually want to go lower but the Fed is doing whatever they can to keep the markets up look at all of these headlines you know that is keep coming up to distract us and this this is one site CNBC is very known for actually misleading people look at this other headline right here 94% of the time when this happens stocks are a winning bet over bonds how are stocks going to be a winning bet when 94% of whatever happens when everything is at an all-time high these are the stuff that they use to actually keep us brainwashed you know keep us brainwashed about what's really going on in the economy I believe that a crash is actually coming I don't believe the markets are going higher 
I believe we have to crash before we go higher. We have to revert to some kind of mean before we go higher. If the Fed is already pumping billions of money into the market, I don't believe it's actually going higher. Why? Because guess what? If they're already pumping hundreds of billions per day into the market and it's not going higher, I don't expect it to go any higher. Something wicked and nefarious is coming this way. Something is coming that's going to force us, force this market to go actually lower. And the truth is, when it goes lower, the risk assets are going to go higher. Now, whether it comes the end of this month in November or whatever, I don't know. Because the truth is, is we have uh, the Fed actually supporting the market. But I do believe when they cut interest rate again, the markets will actually go lower. And it's going to run all the way into January. Why? Because they're already printing. This is going to be one of those, they bought the room already, so they have to sell the news. Or if we do get a trade deal, it's going to be a deal where everybody's going to sell. And I think that's why the Fed is already supporting the market. And I think that the president is doing his best to keep the news off of the Fed by, by basically, I think he's the fall guy, basically. So I just wanted to share this update. I haven't done a video in a long time. And I pray that, um, you know, I continue to make videos. And I pray that this video, you know, is very enlightened for some of you all. Take a look at the charts and see if I'm telling a lie as far as where the market wants to go. All of that noise out there about the trade deal, the trade deal had nothing to do with the economy in the first place, and it ain't going to have anything to do with it. So with this, I'd like to say shalom, and I hope that this information um, is valuable to you all.